Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the word automation series with UiPath where we are exploring the various automation activities which are available to do the Microsoft Word automation. In the previous videos of the series, we have already covered what is word application scope, how do we read the text, how do I write the text or append the text in Microsoft Word. We have also seen how exactly can I use the replace text activity and the replacing of the word occurrence. In case you are not already aware of it, I have put the links in the description so you can refer that. Today in this video, we are going to see how exactly can I save the document as in various formats. And also we are going to see how we can export the Word document to a PDF. What do I mean by that? Let me quickly go back to my folder structure. I am in my D colon data. I have something which is called a Word file. And I have this document which we, which is called the RPS sample dot docs, which we are using to do the Word automation. In my Word file, I have this content, which is a small article on RPA. So for example, I am writing an automation where I want to do some manipulation on the word file, maybe add data, delete data, replace the data. And now I want to save the data, but I don't want to hamper this copy. So what we usually do, we go to the file, we go to an option, which is called save as we click on browse. And from here, I provide the sample file name that what would be the new file name. Let's say the new file name is underscore new. And I want to save it in, let's say, dot doc format, which is an old uh, word format. And if you see, I have other options such as PDF, XPS and all this available, right? So if I simply go and hit on save, now what would happen? Microsoft Word would create a new copy for me. Now. If this same thing we have to do with the help of RPA UI path, how exactly can we accomplish that? That is what we are going to see in this video. I'll delete this old document from here. Okay, since it is already open, let me close this and I'll delete this. Okay, so in my folder, I only have one document which is called the RPA sample.docs. Let me go back to my UI path studio. So I have a project open in front of me, which is called the word automation. This is the same project we have been working on. If I go to the project, you would notice that we already have the UI part dot word activities dependency added. If you do not have this dependency, you won't be able to use the word activities, right? So I have explained all of this in the first video. Please have a reference in case you are looking this video for the first time. I go to the activities and I search for word application scope. Now, word, why word application scope, right? This also we have covered. So whenever I have to use the word automation, I simply want to use a word application scope. All of the activities of the word would be contained inside this container, right? So the first activity which we are going to use is word application scope. Word application scope is going to ask me, tell me the path, right? So you can use this browse for file button or you can simply type the complete path here also, right? So I'll just go to the path. So this is our file where it is located, rpsample.docs, hit open and job is done, right? So that is what you have to do. The first step is you have to go to the word application scope and settle all of this. Here you have other options available, which you can explore. I have already covered those in the previous videos. So feel free to have a reference of it. Now, once this file is loaded in the word application scope, we can add the text, delete the text, append the text. But the agenda here was to save as, right? So if I go to the activities in the integration, sorry, in the app integration, in the Word, these are all the Microsoft Word activities which are available and these are coming because of the dependencies which we have added, right? So now to save as, we have this option which is called the save document as. All you have to do is just drag and drop this activity here. Once I drag and drop this activity, you would see that it is an absolutely simple activity. All you have to do is tell UiPath that what is the kind of document you want to save, right? Do you want to save it as DOCM, .doc, web page, htm, rtf or txt? So if you notice, these are nothing but the extensions of the Word document you want to have, right? So for example, for our case, we want to simply want to save it as 2003. Okay, now, okay, you have told me to save the document as .doc where exactly you want to save. 
So let me do one thing. I'll just copy the same path again, which is D data word file. And instead of RPS sample, I say RPS sample underscore new doc and the extension dot doc. Why dot doc? Because we are telling here to specify as dot doc, right? Replace existing. This is a checkbox, which is by default check, which means that if the file is already available with this name, do you want to replace it or you don't want to replace, right? So as of now, let keep it to the default setting where I say that, okay, replace it every time. If you go to the properties, you would notice this is the same settings which are available here, which says save type as. But the only difference is here you won't get the extension, you are directly getting the name. So for example, if I simply change it to web page, it will change to here.html, right? So these two are binded. So if I select reach text, it is changing. I want to save it in the old document. So it again come back to .doc, right? So based on your requirement, you can actually go and change this. I hit control plus S. Let me go back to the folder and you would notice that I only have one document which says RPS sample. I go here and I simply say run the file. The robot has started the execution. We'll just wait for the execution to complete and then we'll validate the output. So the bot has opened and it's done. If I go to the output, I do not see any exception. Let me go back to the folder structure, hit a quick refresh and yes, we can see that there is a new document which is created RPS sample new doc dot doc, right? Which means that your path was able to save as this document in a new format. Now, this applies to saving it as a new document and not making changes to the actual file. Okay, so I can quickly close this one. Let me go back to my UiPath Studio again and you would notice that similarly, I was able to do this. You can actually save it to the .docx as well, right? So for example, if you want to save the same document with a different name without hampering the actual one, all you have to do is just select .docx here and give a new name and that's it, right? So that was about saving it in a different format. Now moving forward, let me go back to my word file. And if you notice, if I go to the file and click on the save as and uh, in the browse option, you would notice that I had an option to save it as the PDF as well, where I want to save this document in a form of PDF, right? Now, this option was not available in this activity, right? If you see here, I do not have the option of PDF here. Now, if I have a requirement where I want to save the document in the form of PDF, how exactly I can do that, right? This activity do not have this option. However, Microsoft Word have it, right? So for that, there is a different activity actually. So if I go back to my UiPath Studio, you would notice in the activities, just after the save document as, you have the next activity, which is called save document as PDF which is specifically telling you that this activity is going to save the document only as PDF. All you have to do is just drag and drop this activity to the canvas inside the do, right? For that, meanwhile, I'll just delete this activity, right? Now, save document as PDF. It is only going to save the document as PDF, so it has no other option as the other activity has. It is simply asking you, tell me the file path where exactly you want to save it as PDF. And this one is the same thing replace existing. Okay. Now, what I am telling UiPath is that for this document, whichever is mentioned, the data word file RPS sample, which is nothing but this one, we want to save this document in the same folder with the same name RPS sample underscore PDF. And the extension here would be now dot PDF. Right. Save this automation. I go here and I close this word file in here. You can see that I only have the dot docs, the new DOC we have created and we don't have the PDF file. If I go back to my automation, go here and run the file. The robot has started the execution and the expectation is once it is completed, we should be able to get a PDF file. The automation is completed. Let me go back to my folder. I hit a quick refresh and I can see that a new RPS sample underscore PDF is created. Why underscore PDF? Because this is the name that we have given in the UiPath Studio. Okay. Let me quickly open the PDF and show how does it look like. 
and this is the same thing right so it has converted the word document to an pdf okay coming back to my uipath studio whenever we are writing a real time automation all these names such as the word application file name the pdf file name the folder path everything would be coming either by a variable or by an argument or by a configuration file nothing would be hard coded in the workflow like this this was just to show you the activity whenever you are writing the real time automation make sure that you are making use of the variables arguments or the configuration file in case you don't understand how do i use variables or argument i have this video which is available in the description for your reference okay so that is all for this video i hope now you understand how exactly can you use the save document as property of the word application scope and you are comfortable in saving the document as pdf as well i would like to wrap this video here thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation mm -hmm.